to have on our favorite guy. Your favorite guy. It's Timmy from the, the buses What's here. What's up, Tim? All right. What's Hello, up, buddy? Timmy? Hey, I want to say good morning, but that's not the cause. I know. Hey, it's all good. I know. That's good right. afternoon. Hey, it's, hey, whatever, good it's, afternoon. Tim, it's whatever you want to call him, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, you do whatever yes, sir. You, you do whatever say you or do whatever it is you want. Now, yes, sir. Now, Tim, we yeah. have had a very good show thus far. Uh, it's been very delightful. Yeah. Great. We had some Kansas City Chiefs fans on. I believe you met Mark and Tammy and uh, Canton for the Hall of Fans or something like that, Hall of Fame game or something like that. You met them. Now they're here. They're from Indiana. Yes, that's correct. Uh, you know, we're doing Bear Man's induction into that's Ford right. Hall of Fans. Uh, being behind the velvet ropes for all this, we had some great seats, and they were sitting there. And, you know, that, that just goes to show how small our world really is yeah, in the indeed. genre we're in when it comes to tailgating and, and community and all of that. And sure enough, they contacted me last week. I remember exactly who they were, exactly where we were sitting right. on that sunny afternoon. And here they are, along with some friends. Uh, that's what we do. It's lifelong that's friendships right. that come out of they this. Were, it's great. They were delightful individuals. Yeah. Yeah. And now I hate them because they're yep. Chiefs fans. <laughs> yep. So for at least the next six hours, I don't like them. Yeah, we That's how that is. Yeah. I'm sure they understand. <laughs> they do. They understand. It's fine. Yeah. Now, they did tell us some interesting things, Tim, that we want to get your thoughts on. Sure. So, first of all, um, they told us that Da Nagy was not perhaps a protege of what? Reed, but instead an apprentice, an apprentice hmm. yeah, of him. That. It fell out of their mouth, Tim. It yeah. It fell uh, out uh, of the mouth hole. What? what? Well, how do you comment to something like that? <laughs> It didn't make us feel good. I'll tell you that. Dude, it made us feel awful. Yeah, That's I mean, like, oh. ouch. We yeah. were trying to find any hope, and they, like, crushed oh it with god. one <laughs> seemingly innocent oh. comment. Oh, my God. I wonder if that's the image. I wonder what the image is of our coach outside of our little realm here. That is, a, you know what? Ugh. That's a hell of a, yeah, I wonder. Right? Outside of us. Yep. Small talk and, you know, little settings like this. What are, you know, our coach comes up. I wonder what the overall vibe is on that. Yeah, that Ugh. would be an interesting um, uh, survey we should take at some point. Yeah. I mean, like, or he might be. He might not be here long enough to do this. Yeah. Andy, Andy <laughs> might be with his coaching staff. Yeah. Kind of like, huh. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Realized how good he had it. <laughs> Andy Reid was like, finally got rid of that yeah, asshole. Like, oh, All right. Well. God, well. mucking up my shit. Um, yep, yep. But I'm hoping that Nagy uh, is the protege today and does a, a one time on his master, uh, which is Andy Reid. Uh, what do you think about that? Do you think who gets who is the better coach today, Tim? Well, I'm not going to argue. I'm, I'm just going to go and read all the way as the better coach. It's obvious that he is, especially with everything he has under his belt. But, you know, if it's ever a time for our coach to shine as a head coach, which really hasn't been too much this year at all, personally, you know how I feel. Yes, okay? yes we do know. Well, yes. then it's time for him to, you know, let's, let's let him coach. If there's a time for him to coach, today's the day. The Bears are out of it. The Bears are out of it. Yes. They're playing. Pride. They're, they're, he's playing his old team. we got to see how the, how the Bears respond as – some it's a team that's going nowhere against a great team like this under the lights on Sunday night last home game right before Christmas uh you know are you surprised that it's still a Sunday night football game because of our well, record I was I am too you know I, I don't know why it didn't flex I, I I can't see why they couldn't pick one of these other games that really meant more but uh you know what they're giving us uh they're giving they're us, giving a nice us another hey, shot it's a beautiful day we're gonna it be is. under the lights it it's right before Christmas there's right. a lot of great vibe to this you, know? you got you got Mahomes versus Trubisky yep. which is a thing yep you got the Chiefs offense versus the Bears defense yep and you got Nagy versus Reed I Absolutely. think that's why it's still a game in yeah. the nighttime yeah, exactly and they were like you know what it's still worthwhile the Bears are playing better the last few weeks yeah. we'll leave it alone yeah there's enough storyline uh, there because the Bears could potentially play spoiler play spoiler here exactly because For the two Chiefs, weeks in a row yes close out the, the season. Bears that's uh right. the Bears I think that's what we have to rest our hats on yeah that if we is. went nine and seven I'd be like okay well yeah absolutely give them another year Nagy play the fucking starters in the preseason, you dope. And Just, yeah, yeah, do a better bet- job of coaching. Get us a little more yeah. prepared. Yeah. Please. Uh, London you. London and Green Bay opener. Yeah. Come yeah. on. Those Either two. one of those and tonight means something. That's right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Um, I really feel that the Bears should take this game serious, treat it like it is, a playoff game, finish the season off strong, because you're going to have some very, very, very disappointing fans if they drop these last two games oh, yeah. after the season we had last year with all of this potential and this expectation, they can give Chicagoans an early Christmas gift with a yes. win today. Yes. Yeah. Uh, culture, it's a whole culture in this locker yes. room. They lay, lay down and die. Forget it. This is over. This, yep. Yeah. They, wanna, they will not rebuild up. this. They will no. not be rebuilt. No. This, this will be another 
five-year thing because when you if they lose that locker room and that look they lay down the next two games the culture's done yeah. oh, last year was a wet over. dream it's all yeah. right yeah oh god yeah. It's, it, it, that's it, a good it, analogy it is it's it's like okay so that was a fluke yeah you know? don't mean to switch sports but uh Giannis, the greek freak you know he won it, the mvp in the nba and he was like i'm gonna do it again next year just so people don't say it was a fluke exactly right, right. we didn't even win it all we went to the playoffs but i mean look at look at what the bears did so if they don't want to be recognized as a team they overachieved last year. Correct. They need to win these two games. That's exactly right. Exactly right. 125 million percent. <laughs> um, now, Tim, yeah. your thoughts on Trubisky versus Mahomes. So this is an interesting thing, right? So Very Trubisky's yeah. been uh, doing some Mahomes-like things the last few games, Good. which inspires hope. We are now the Rebels <laughs> in Star Wars, and we That's right. have a hope that uh, – <laughs> Better tidings will come to pass once the evil empire is crushed. You're welcome, Star Wars, for that plug. Uh, not yet a sponsor, but um, <laughs> Disney, holla, holla, yeah, holla, 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 holla. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but, so we got Trubisky versus Mahomes. This is a very telling game. Who does better? What are you looking for from the Trubisky guy? Well, you know, our guy now, since, uh, since that hip injury, <laughs> he's taken, you know, uh, right? I mean, let's Ow, take, my hip. Uh, yeah, he took a lot, took, took the brunt, took the hit took everything that we threw at him and hasn't said one word and has responded by playing pretty good football. And, you know, steady. He's going to throw the pick. He will do it every week. That's You know that's yeah. going to happen. But he's laying that ball in some nice spots where his receivers are dropping him. Yeah. He, overall, he's improving. He he's is. a little more stable. You yeah. feel a little more comfortable there. Again, for him as well, you know, he's always getting matched up against Mahomes and Watson, which isn't fair because he wasn't asked to be draft second. Okay. Right. It's not right. his fault. True. Right. So, you know yeah. what? Just like That's our coach, yeah. like our coach against his mentor. Yeah. Okay. Trubinsky's going up against the people he's compared against. Yep. Correct. So, you know, uh, on his end of the ball, too, he's going to just have to, you know, let's let him go. Let him run. Let him go. Yeah. Let him be him. You know, the other guy on the other side of the ball is going to be running around. That's true. You know? That and is you know, true. Mahomes is a little banged up too. He's been That's right. he's had a tough year. His hand is not 100. percent No. We, we feel like it would be smart to have a few Teamsters waiting for him at the end of the <laughs> driveway there as they roll in and maybe a couple, yeah, a couple no, of knocks. You know, no hicks today. That's going yeah. again. No, next no, double yeah. teams. So you know, right. pressure on him isn't. You know, we're, I don't know about the pressure on him. Where we're going to go? We need some. You know, we need to rise up again. Let's see if they got it in them. I don't think there's. I think that there's no quit in this team. I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. I agree. I would prefer that they don't quit. I would yeah. prefer them to really come out, win the next two games, play spoiler, give themselves a bit of an identity there, and then we can all enjoy the rest of our uh, – we can enjoy 2020 knowing there's there's light at the end of a tunnel. You see that schedule for we next year? We uh, don't – no. Uh, it's, you know, AFC South. Oh, okay. AFC South. All right. So, you know, we got uh, the Bucks are here, the Saints are back here. You know, we got the – you know. The division, I mean, it doesn't look that tough right now compared to the schedule we had this year. We had a tough schedule no. this year. Yeah. We, we the did have a very Bears tough schedule. Bears had one of the toughest schedules. That is true. But I think Mitchell has looked the best like these last four weeks. Yeah. He's looked as – I mean, he's thrown he some good – he's thrown some good balls. Yeah. He's really, And he's gotten them in those really tight areas. Yep. I mean, he's needling the thread. Yes, he is. Um, and he's he looks, running a little more. He's running more. He looks more, more comfortable. Yes. Yeah, he's throwing Confident. an interception he's, a game. He's, but he's needling it. the thread? He's needling the thread. He's needling the thread. You mean threading the needle? needle. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, when I said it, you I didn't know. have to repeat it. I knew it. what you were saying. <laughs> Jerk. We know anyway. what you're saying. And this is how we are. This is live, too, y'all. This, That's this right. This is live. This is live. But, yeah, I think um, the Bears are definitely – they win these two games, man. They're treading up. Or yeah. trending up, excuse me. Yes, I they, got are. The, they are. I got the guy who. Yeah, I think we're, on, we're up ticking again now. Yes. And, that, and again, that's going to bring us, you know, back to opening day next year. All the hope and promise with the schedule, where we're going to be, and things like that. We're already talking about next year. That's it's right. Already here. Yeah, Might yeah. as well. I hope. I wonder who we get in the draft. Oh wait, we don't have any picks. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all we do is wait for uh, preseason to find that's out right. how Nagy's going to coach us and what we're right. going to do. Yeah. yeah. I feel like there'll be some changes. Yeah, like Justin Just said, guess. looks like the starters will actually be in preseason so. this year. We probably want to do that yeah, going absolutely. next year. Yep. What about Trey Burton, guys? Can you we know cut what? him yet? Can we release this guy yet? Um, I would say. I mean, ooh. he's been he's been injured. He's That's injured all question. last season. I mean, all this season. When he uh, wasn't mentally ready 
for the playoff game against Philly. No, he wasn't. Yep. What he's facing his mean? old team. What does that mean? What does that mean? Mm. Facing his old team, and his old like, Super Bowl team. What does that mean? He had anxiety? And what does our coach do? The, you know, the, he's everybody's best friend in that locker room. He lets it go. This yeah. guy hasn't played it. He hasn't had it. What do you have, two relevant catches all year? It's maybe? true. Yeah. Goodbye. We, he, yeah. Also, our, uh, our offense needs a tight end. We don't have one. Oh, That's, I like that the is true. guys that were playing, well, actually. They, were, they came me, out of nowhere. Okay, let me take that back. What was projected to be our start and what we were supposed mm. to do with our tight ends has not happened. Now they've come out right. These guys are playing. Adam good. Shaheen. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry, right. wait, he's going to be cut. Yeah. <laughs> but you're right. The two guys, uh, yeah. Bort, what's his name? Uh, is it Bortz? What's their tight end's name? Bortz, isn't it? Uh, uh, I can't remember. There's yeah. still so because much Bortz of a no name to me, I don't yeah. know their name. But they are they are standing up. They're making they some are. plays. They're, they're, they're doing all right. Happen. Yeah. But you know, next year, we in our offense, we need a tight end. We do need a, a big tight end. Tight end. A big target. That's we'll be give able to do what the tight target. ends are supposed to do. Good hands. That's right. Yep. Yeah, we need us like a Zach Ertz or or yeah. Travis Kelsey. We need we need one of them. We we need a we, we need, need a, a, a Travis Kelsey would be nice. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, Philly got a great one. Hey, Zach Ertz is a beast let's too. Let's pull another man. Chicago stunt. Before Travis Kelsey gets back on the Chiefs bus, we get a couple of guys blindfold him, kidnap him out, and now he's just a bear. <laughs> we brainwash him. We tell him, "Hey, if you don't like it, we got a, we got Phil and Steve back there, <laughs> big guys, and now you're Phil a bear, and, and they'll make yeah. you like it." Yeah, <laughs> and then and then he and then he'll just be like, "Oh, I love the Bears. I'm on the Bears now." <laughs> you have a it. contract with the Chiefs. No, I'm playing for the Bears. Yeah. <laughs> just do it. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, Mahomes is Trubisky, right? Trubisky is Mahomes, right? right. He gets sure. confused. Absolutely. Right. Anyway, yes. Well, uh, before we move to the next segment, Tim, you're gonna love this new thing that we're, that we're doing on the show. Hey, folks, let's pause for uh, a station identification real quick. Friends, do you like tailgating? Do you like going out amongst fellow fans, particularly Bears fans, having a couple one, two, three beers, maybe some good brisket, some Italian beef, some slaw, and hang out with a bunch of your friends before a Bears game? Then look no further than coming to the Chicago Bears Tailgating Club, located at 2200 South Wabash Avenue. We have all kinds of gooky characters. We got Bear Mysterio. We got the uh, Bear Man. We got the uh, Defense Guys, Mom Bear, and all hosted by wonderful guest Timmy from the Bus. So if you want a good time before a Bears home game, then come out to Chicago Bears Tailgating Club at 2200 South Wabash Avenue, right here in the South Loop in Chicago. Once again, 2200 South Wabash Avenue, the Chicago Bears Tailgating Club. See you next season. I'm working what? on my commercials. <laughs> I don't like it. I love it. That was beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. And, wow. and, and instead of a big sign that says... It makes me want to come here now. <laughs> yeah, I, right. yeah. I want to be part of this now. Yeah. yeah. I don't... You're not... Oh. It's like... <laughs> It's like it's, instead of instead of a big sign that says "Place your ad here," that's my placeholder for ads. Beautiful. You could be an ad here. We could put you on. <laughs> yep. But until then, we're gonna promote our own fucking people because that's what's uh, that's what it's about. All right, now, Tim, it's time for our favorite segment of the pregame show. That's right. You know what it is. It is time for Ron. Help me out. It's time for the, the jag off of the game. game. All right, Tim. Now you've gone with coaches. Yes, I have. So what? Who is your jag off for this week? Are you That's going with the coach you know, again? I wasn't, you know, I wasn't ready for the question. I've been a little oh, busy. I That's two weeks in a row, Tim. Right. Yeah, I know. So uh, that's good. It keeps me on the edge of my seat. Could you ask me the question again? Who is your jag off for this game? Oh, oh my God. I know. Uh, oh, that's tough on this know. one. That is tough on this one. I would have to say. Oh God! I would have to. I don't have. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to pass this one. I need. I need a minute. I need a minute. Okay. I need a minute. I got a special one. So Ron, it's on you. Okay. This week's jag off will be the Kansas City Chiefs defense. Ooh. They're they're completely going to just s all in the bed today. Tammy was saying that their defense is stepping up. Not today. Their defense will not travel. Not they will traveling today. Backwards. Yeah. They're not. De their Kansas City Chiefs defense will not travel today. It's actually going to be a landslide. The Bears are gonna oh. kick that oh, ass. Wow. Damn. I, like that. I, like that. I can't I like wait for your prediction. I can't um, wait either. That sounds dope as fuck. Like I like that. that. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. I like that very much. Yeah. All right, Tim. You got a few more minutes. I'm gonna give you mine. Yeah, I got mine all okay. set up now. I'm ready. My jig off for this game. Tyreek Hill. Oh. oh, oh why? Yes. Oh, why, Justin? Oh, oh, oh. Yes. For two potential reasons. <laughs> All right. Number one. One. 
is either he fucking beats the shit out of us and runs oh. past everybody and cut, catches like three or four touchdown passes. Or two. Or what I'm hoping for is that he is a real jag off and he's going to fumble a crucial ball today that gives the momentum edge to the Bears. And that is why we win the game. Wow. I like that. I like that. Ooh -wee. Just like that. I like it. So, I like we it. Go, so yes. Tariq Hill go blow it. Yes, that's my Chiefs. that's my main prediction. Yes. Hey, I, I can live with that, man. Yeah. I can't wait to hear what Tim got. Yep, yeah, Tim? I'm ready now. I'm ready. Okay, here All we right, go. I'm ready to go. I'm pumped. Mine is Patrick Mahomes. Ooh. Oh, yes. For okay. him even thinking about comparing himself to number 10 Mitch Trubinsky. Oh, oh, snap. On our field, at our house. Yeah. Yes. Tonight. All right. That's it. I'm dropping the mic. There you Boom. go. Boom. Done. Drop Don't in the mic. Don't even think about it.